Barbie's ice cream. Let's go. First thing. Hey, 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 hey. So how did I start Barbie's ice cream? Well, stick around to the end of the video and I'll be sharing some of the story with you guys. Guys, ah, oh, I'm alive and I'm back in Shargao. So I've actually been back for like two days now, but my last clip, you can see I was at the dentist. Well, I thought I was just getting a little too pulled, no big deal. Boom, that shit knocked me out. Like I was in the MMA, the most pain I've ever felt in my entire life. Fever, I was bleeding for like three, like two days. Oh my God, I'm finally feeling okay enough to like go out and about. So, yes, mm, I love you Shargao, I missed you. <laughs> So guys, actually I need to do some laundry real quick. So I'm gonna run to the Sorry Sorry store, grab some laundry soap. And the Carinderia that I always go to is right next door. So I brought them some pasalubon. I don't even know if I say that word right. Pasa, pasalubon. And some old clothes that I don't want anymore. And look at this chicken. The last time we saw you chicken, you were like half the size. Okay, so there's my favorite Carinderia that I get to know love from every day. Stuff too, oh, clothes I don't want. Yes, not in it like a candy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm a court. Got my laundry soap. <laughs> Gonna do some laundry. Oh, I miss Shargal. It's. I love Philippines. Okay, so doing some laundry now. Um, I'm waiting for the thingy to spin. I'm gonna shave my legs because it's sunny outside. Get some sun, I can see better and save time. Why not? <laughs> okay, so we're here doing fundraising later. Um, the Shargal Dragons are baking. I'll explain later. Boo! Oh, you here? Welcome. Oi, is there? Oi, shout out! Wow! I have John. Oi, where? I go by my house. Ah! Uh, yeah! Hey! 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 So making donuts. Yeah, making donuts. I'm not just for people. For. Hello, Bunga. Do you like Rao? Later, not done. Oh, yeah, done. So we're making yeah. donuts because we're doing that fundraising. Donut. We're doing fundraising for our competition that we're doing, that we're gonna go to in Baraka. It's a lot of money for our team. So we're here making donuts so they can sell them later. Wow, what's this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi Ma! Hi Ma! Oh no no! Wow, so what's this? You have to let them like... Donut! They're Donut. sleeping! Wow! Ooh. Sleeping! <laughs> There's a market today so they're gonna sell later at the market. Unfortunately I can't be there because it's like the same time I have to be at the bridge. My first day back at Barbie's ice cream. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm here refilling some of my toppings for Barbie's ice cream. So I just refilled the sharks already. Um, so, so usually I just do this before the bridge, but it's been a little while since I sold since I was gone in Thailand, and then the tooth thingy for a few days. So we're refilling now. Marshmallows. So this is actually like the longest I've been away. 
So I'm so excited to be back selling tonight at the bridge. We're here at Jacking Horse. This is like a surf spot and nice chill place. <laughs> you. <laughs> That's your monkey. It's my monkey. Thanks, boys. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Today, we're sorry, we're, guys. Today, we are back. Where is it? Barbie's ice cream. Let's go. First day back after vacation. So today was my first day back selling ice cream after two weeks of vacation in Thailand. Today was Sunday, which is usually one of the most busiest days at the bridge. And I really enjoy Sundays because I get to meet so many of you. I've been getting a lot of questions about how I ended up in the Philippines and how I started selling ice cream. So I thought I'd share a little bit of the story. So when I first came to Shargao, I was really touched by the local kids and I was motivated to find out a way to help them. I started a GoFundMe so I could raise money for basic needs, foods, and they would always ask me for things like skateboards. I was also volunteering classes at the gym, so I wanted a way to maybe even get them in the gym to train them so I could have regular interactions with them. So once I received some donations, I started using the money for the kids, but instantly I realized I did it the wrong way because the kids thought like I was super rich and had all this money and eventually were just kind of like, gimme, gimme, gimme. So I realized I handled it in a wrong way. And plus that wasn't like a long-term solution to be able to generate money consistently for them. One of my friends was one of the street vendors at Katangnan Bridge and I kind of had this idea that maybe I could help her sell something also because she was actually the first vendor and more and more vendors started coming so she was struggling a little bit more. So I wanted to help her so we had this idea that I could sell ice cream. So the ice cream was just going to be in addition to her business and I was just helping out in terms of 
It was really good marketing. And from the leftover funds after what she needed for her and her family would go to donating to the local kids. When we first started, I wasn't really sure how it would go or how it would work. And honestly, I thought it was just like a really silly idea. And I was like, okay, we might as well try. And to look back on it, it's honestly incredible to see how much of an impact it's been able to make, um, especially just meeting you guys and being able to spread happiness by just doing something as simple as me selling ice cream. And I love being able to give back to the local community because Shargao has absolutely touched my heart, especially the people there. After living in Shargao, it's really hard to imagine going back to the United States where I'm from because the quality of life here is just so much better. In the United States, I just feel they teach us this American dream that's very unrealistic and no one's truly happy and all we are doing is working to sustain this unsustainable way of life. But we are taught that that's normal and then there's not much um, better out there. The only thing that's hard about being here is being far from my family and especially my sister, she's handicapped. She cannot walk, she cannot talk, and she requires full-time care. And I started to realize that maybe Shargao is a better place for her considering the quality of life. So that's also why I'm working hard now in everything that I do because I don't want to take anything for granted. I'm able to move my body, I'm able to go to the bridge and sell ice cream, I can go to the gym, I can surf, I can walk. And all my Filipino friends here have supported me so much in saying that they want to help get my sister here and will help me while she's here. What's up guys, so I'm back on my bullshit because it's like 12 and I'm gonna go for a run. <laughs> Guys, I was running. First of all, that was so hot. Second of all, one of my local friends, they have like a, a fruit snan and store. And they saw me jogging and they were like driving around because sometimes they do deliveries. And they just handed me an orange. I love Chargao locals. The best people.